Mark Wingfoil underscore Mallorca reporting from Wingfoil Spain series. That's what it's called. Uh, here in Escaló in Mallorca to report and see how things are from here. This exciting sport, the Wingfoil that's marching around the world. Stay tuned for more info. Uh, but first this. Today, we are at the beach next to Club Nautico in Arenal here in Mallorca, called Escalo. Today we are watching the race in the Wingfoil Spanish Series 2022. It is the penultimate competition in Mallorca this weekend in the series. This is the second year in a row we have had this opportunity to have this competition in Mallorca. So I decided to take the opportunity and cover it from the perspective of Wingfoil underscore Mallorca. Hope you guys like to see how a wing foil race is put together and how it works. It all started Saturday morning with a run through of the details of the race. Everybody is getting every word from the official organizer representative Antonio. The turn up of local riders was very good. Many new faces for the race organizers and there was a lot of excitement in the air. Unfortunately, not so many flew in from the mainland or abroad to be here racing this weekend. Then, a more detailed run-through of the official course the riders had to complete. The conditions today was alright, 13-14 knots that later turned into 15, and even up to 18 knots in the car. The spirit among the riders was high this Sunday. Then, the customary photography of each rider in the official racing jersey. Ruben did his own version and showed off the official jersey of the YouTube channel Wingfoil underscore Mallorca. What? Looks like the others mounted dwarf wings. Dwarf wings? The other guys are on six. Com compared to yours. Frenchie's not on six. Alright, good luck man. We're talking about 13, 14 knots now. Already? Yeah. Current Spanish Cup champion Gunnar Biniash came as the favorite, and also was he was here to defend his previous wins in earlier competitions. He brought with him some interesting material, both big and small. Now, will the local riders give him a fight for the win? Stay tuned to find out. <laughs> If you like this video, give it a like. If you want to follow me and the channel, please consider to click the subscribe button. Leave a comment of your thoughts after watching the video. There are 40 plus more videos on my channel. Check the others out as well. All supports my work making more videos. Thank you very much. Okay, the competition runs in 12 rounds over two days. They have planned seven days today and five tomorrow because the forecourt for today is better. First an hour before start, the riders enter the sea to go through their equipment, check that all is well, some change foil, up or down in size of the wing, or anything that they think will make a better result in the action. Alula power! Yes! No tienes alula, vas a, vas a perder, seguro! <laughs> A lot of preparation is going on. The atmosphere is great. Many riders are inflating two wings to have different sizes ready if they need it. Everybody smiling and having a good time. El Heru and El Aldinho Surf Center. Mucha suerte. When they have tested all material and are happy with it, they wait for the signal from the organizer. There's a first signal 30 minutes before start. ¿Qué tal? Bien, está bueno, ahí va 
¿Y, ¿Y tienes el material correcto? Creo que sí, de momento sí, si no baja está todo ok. <risa> pues tienes que, vas a ganar, ¿no? No, vamos a, vamos a hacer lo posible para que vaya bien, a ganar la Exacto, muy Ahí bien. Muy, buena. muy bien, suerte. Gracias. ¿Y otra? Closer to the start, all gather around the starting line and the official boat. Here we see them sitting on the boards. Next thing is that the organizer blows the horn and signals three minutes to start. Now they all get up riding. Here comes the tricky part. When the three minutes are up, there's a starting signal and the signal with the flag and the race is on. But since the riders are on foil and have to cross the starting line after the signal and the flag, it's crucial not to get there too early. Then you will have to turn around and you will lose valuable time and positions. If you cross the line prematurely, you will do an OCS on the course side, meaning you pass the line too early and you will be disqualified. A very exciting moment in the race. The actual race is taking part over a quite large course, like a giant said, two jibes, one tack turn inside the course. Leanne and I, we were riding around watching the race uh, and being trying to be outside of the racing course. I mistakenly crossed into the race path of a few riders. Oops! Not good. I won't make that mistake again. And here we see Gunnar riding past after one of the races. And here we have a few words from him that he summarizes the seven races he did It's today. okay. It, the day ended like it started, light, with a pretty light wind. Um, I was on the seven the entire time. Like in the middle of that, it was pretty nice. I think we got up about 17, 18 knots. And that was really fun racing. Um, yeah, we got seven races done. I won all of those. <laughs> so I'm pretty set up for tomorrow uh, so I can take it easy more <laughs> um, yeah sunny warm good win good stuff thank you Gunnar excellent congratulations all right the rest of the ride is coming in after all the races are and here comes the Axis Axis team riders All with a smile and atmosphere is great. Ahora llega Sebas! Alguien tiene que... El ganador de último plazo. El año pasado era yo. No pudo serlo siempre yo todos los años. Here we see three of the participants in the category Wetsuit Care Advanced. To see all wing foil material laid out on the beach like this, that was a really great sight. The riders have a lot to talk about. Race day one goes to end. What a great day. Here are the results after day's bonds racing. Trying a six meters instead of 5.5. Try with a with a six to get more more power.